time to make a video. Hey guys, it's Emily, and today I wanted to rant. Rant about what exactly? Let me tell you, fine person watching my videos. I'm going to be ranting about a certain man. This band unfortunately no longer exists, and I've been having a lot of withdrawals lately. It's been about a year since they've broken up or ended the band, basically. They're called All Star Weekend. I've seen All Star Weekend eight times. They ruined my life every single time. And a certain someone in the band is very annoying and I don't like him. This person goes by the name of Cameron Keesing. Cameron Keesing is the bassist of All Star Weekend. I just do not like him. Quick side note, any time in this video that I say I hate this person, I do not like this person, I hated it, I wanted to leave, anything negative along those lines means everything went absolutely great, it was wonderful, I had a great experience. Don't take me seriously. When I say I hate, insert person name here, this means I really like this person, they ruined my life in a good way, in a good way. It's good if I say I hate this person or if I hated this day and stuff like that, just trust me, it's a good thing. It all started July 22nd, 2010. I was going to Six Flags to see Ulster Weekend in concert for the very first time in my entire life. Me and my sister bought VIP for the show, we got to meet them after the show. Their performance was great, they did really good, I really liked them, they're always great performers. So we go to meet them and Cameron's the first one that I meet and I walk up to them and he hugs me instantly. Cameron is a very good hugger. Like seriously, he's the best person that I've hugged my entire life. He's just very huggable and he's soft and it's just like, stop, can I just take you home, please? And then we took a picture together. The next time I saw All Star Weekend was July 29, 2011. I had it planned that day that I would buy a ring pop and I was going to give it to Cameron and just be like, I was just wondering if we could be married for the day. Just as like a little joke type of a thing. So we get there kind of early, probably about a couple hours before the show actually started because All Star Weekend's really good about meeting fans. They're is never a time where I felt like they just didn't care about us at all. So we stood by where their trailer was. We knew that they were there already, that they arrived because their limo was there and they made a big deal about coming in on a limo because they're stupid. We're sitting there and we're just waiting to see if anybody comes out or something like that. Cameron, Michael, Dylan, and Brent walk out of their trailer and they start walking to get food. Cameron goes and he buys a Euro and I waited till he was like by himself a little bit, a little bit more secluded, and then I started to slowly creep by. And so it was right before he started eating, so I wasn't like bothering him in the middle of eating. He was like starting to walk back, and I was like, hey Cameron. And he was like, oh hi. I held out my ring pop and I was like, I have this ring pop and I was wondering if we could be married for the day. He takes it and he's like, shouldn't I be the one asking you that question? And I'm like, I don't know, sure. And so he literally, gets down on one knee with a euro in his hand and my ring pop in the other. But he gets down on one knee and he asked me to marry him. And I'm like, yes. We hugged and then he took the ring pop. Being a dweeb that I am, I actually still have the wrapper to the ring pop. So then after the show, which was amazing as usual, we waited around to see if they were gonna come back and meet us again. And of course, being All Star Weekend, they did. So Zach came by and he met a few fans and then Cameron came by. I didn't really say much to him because I felt like I annoyed him enough that day. So I was like, oh, hi, and he's like, hi. And so then we hugged. It was my sister's first time meeting Cameron that day. And she's like, you know, I heard you're married to my sister. And he's like, yeah, she's pretty hot. And I'm like standing right there like, I didn't say anything. I was like, oh. So yeah, that was that day. So July 29th, the day that I got married to Cameron Keesing from All Star Weekend. The next All Star Weekend show was February 22nd, 2012. And at the time, I was a part of my college's newspaper, so I actually had the opportunity to interview All Star Weekend at that show. And I also had VIP too. I thought for my picture, I would be clever and unique, and I would get stick on mustaches for us to wear for my picture. My friend, as a joke, was gonna ask Cameron to kiss my cheek. So my friend meets them before me, and she asks them if Cameron could kiss my cheek. And he's like, sure. 
And so I come up to them and I was like, hey, and they're like, hey. I didn't say it like that at all. I was probably like, hi, hi, hi. So I go up to them and I'm like, so I have stick on mustaches for us to wear for the picture. And you guys can pick out whatever one you want to wear. And so I pull out the mustaches and they're picking out which ones they want. And so I get ready to take my picture and I stand next to Cameron and Zach. And right before they start to take the picture, Cameron leans in close to me and he's like, your friend asked me if I could kiss you for the picture. And I was like, oh, okay. He moves my hair for me because my hair was in my face, of course. So he like pushes my hair back for me and he kisses my cheek with a mustache on his lips too. And I'm just like, this is just awkward. We're all wearing mustaches and he's kissing my cheek. And then after that finished, he turns to me, he goes, well, you're the first person I kissed with a mustache. And I was like, I hate you so much. I had to wait for their meet and greet to be over and that their manager was gonna come and get me so I could interview them, which is so awkward. And we go backstage and they're still there. I interview them. It was really, really funny. It was a really good interview. I'll link it down below, just the funny moments because everything else is just and then it was time for the show. The next time I saw Oscar Weekend was Friday, October 3rd, 2012. That Wednesday, I was leaving for Disney World for the college program. I ended up buying a rose that morning because I was gonna ask Cameron if I could be his date for the show that day. So I walk up to them and I have the rose in my hand and I go up to Cameron and I'm like, can I be your date for the night? And he's like, yes. And so he hugs me. This hug though. It's one of those hugs where I'm like, okay, you can pull away now, but he was still hugging me. And then while he was hugging me, he's just like, oh, I'm so happy to see you again. And I was like, I hate you so much. And then I started to feel my feet come off the ground and he literally lifted my feet off the ground and spun me like half turn. And then after he hugged me, he's like, your name's Alyssa, right? And I was like, no, it's Emily. And he's like, Emily. And I was like, what? And then I go hug Zach and Michael and then it was time for us to take our picture. And how it worked this time around was they had an app on an iPad where they would take pictures and it would be like a photo booth. So like it would take four separate pictures and you just do a different pose for each one and then it'd be like a little photo booth strip. So we go and take our first picture and it's just a normal smiley face picture. I don't know why I gave the thumbs up. And then we did a funny face picture and then I did like the little peace sign thing. Then Cameron takes the rose I gave him. He literally gets down on one knee and I'm standing there flexing. Why was I flexing? I don't know. The next picture, which is the last one, he holds out his hand with the rose in it like he's giving the rose to me I just froze and I was still flexing like and then here's the video of meeting them to meet Cameron. I tell him that I'm going to be working in Disney World starting Wednesday and then his eyes got all wide and he's like wait Disney World and I was like yeah and he's like what are you gonna be doing there and I'm like I'm working with food I don't know exactly what yet and he was like that's so cool and then we took a picture the next show was February 9th 2013 this show was the very first concert I went to after I came back from Disney World and speaking of that when I was in Disney World, I tweeted All Star Weekend when Cameron was on the account saying that I told him that I was going to be in, working in Disney World and that he was going to come visit me. And he tweeted me back saying, next time we're in Disney World, I'm going to hit you up. And I was like, okay. Too bad I left before that even happened. So I bought a $10 gift card to Taco Bell and I was going to ask Cameron if we can go to Taco Bell after the show because they had nothing to do. So then I go up to him and I'm like, so I was wondering if we can go on a Taco Bell date after this. And I hold up my gift card. And he's like, I would love to. I just don't know what we're doing after the show. I have to talk to my manager. And I was like, okay, I'll see you after the show so you can just let me know. And he's like, yeah, that's fine. So then I go and I stand for my picture and Cameron's like putting his stuff away in this, in this little pile of fan gifts. And he turns and he looks at me and he goes, you're amazing. And I was like, I hate you. So then I asked for a group hug picture and so we huddled into a little group 
Cameron was hugging me and the lady taking my picture was like, oh, your bangs are in your face, your bangs are in your face, fix your bangs. And literally my hand was starting to go up, but Cameron literally, he came and he fixed my hair out of my face for me. And then after the show, we were waiting in line to meet Cameron and he ended up having to be pulled away before any of us could really meet him. So I never met him after the show, so I didn't know if I would have even had the chance to have the Taco Bell date. But actually what ended up happening was the day after his birthday, he tweeted me saying that he used the gift card and that I was there in spirit. Technically, I paid for his birthday meal. The next and last show that I've seen All Star Weekend at was Warp Tour 2013. I had a little ticket to meet them at their tent. We waited in line and of course they were late as usual. What could you expect from band guys? And so I have this binder that my friends made for me called the Kemaly Moments book or something like that. And they put all the pictures of me and Cameron in it and like all the little stories and everything that's happened in there. And I was gonna show it to him just like as a little joke and I thought it was funny. So I go up to him and I'm like, my friends made this book about us. And so he's flipping through it and I'm talking to Michael and Zach. And so he signed it and then he freaking wrote love you in it. I didn't ask for him to do that. He didn't have to do that. He had an opportunity and he took it. I have a Polaroid camera and he really wanted us fans to take Polaroid pictures with him. Unfortunately, my Polaroid camera is literally the size of my face, probably even bigger because it's super old. And so what I did was I laid out all the pictures of me and him and I took a Polaroid picture of that. So I was going to give that to him. So when the rest of the guys were signing my binder, he saw it in the sleeve of the binder. And he's like, is that a Polaroid? I was like, yeah, yeah, I have something for you in it. And so I give him the Polaroid picture and he's like, oh, this is awesome. And he gives me another hug and I was like, oh, thank you. Mid hug, he literally pulls away. He grabs my shoulders, looks me dead in the eyes and says, I'm really glad you're here today. Like, wow, I hate you so much. Why do you have to do this? And then I was like, can we take a prom picture? He's like, sure. So we took a prom picture and I was just a mess that day. And then my friend Erin, she was next in line to meet them and she was saying that she heard Cameron tell Zach that my Polaroid picture deserved an award and he actually put my picture in his pocket and not buy the whole pile of fan gifts. So I don't know what he's doing with that, but... Mm. And then... If you didn't know, as a great closure to this story, in August of 2013, The Tragic Dose was made. This past August, in like the middle of the month, I went to go see The Tragic Thrills after a full year of not seeing Cameron since Warp Tour. It was very, very chill and I was over the whole fangirl stage. And after the show, he was selling their merch, so I came up to him and I was like, hi, and he's like, oh, hi. And I was like, you had a great show today. And he's like, oh, thanks, it was great seeing you again. And so he hugged me and then I hugged him back and it was a great hug. And then we just took a picture and that was it. So those are my stories with All-Star Weekend. I miss these guys a lot, but hopefully I'll see them again soon with their new bands and their new projects. I hope you guys have a great week and a magical day. And I'll see you all very, very soon.